beginning from now henceforth, we declare you God's ambassadors who will go and protect his creation. Wow. Whether it is only you to remain on the truth, so you must. For the heavens are waiting for you. May the God who inspired you to come for this conference always journey with you. This year's Diocesan Annual Youth Conference under the umbrella of Soroti Catholic Diocese was held between the 12th and 17th of December 2022 and was very massive as the creation ambassadors took charge of the entire arrangements, the facilitation and the entire programming. Under the theme, Mary arose and went with haste, derived from the book of Luke chapter 1 verses 29. Indeed, Thousands of the young Catholic faithfuls flocked from the entire 11 districts of Teso subregion in Uganda to listen to the message of truth from the Catholic teaching and take it deep into their lives as a new seed of life for eternity. Devotion, praise and worship cultured the massive gathering as the creation ambassadors preached the message of creation versus evolution, contraceptives and abortion from the source of Catholic doctrines. Let's have a glance at this five days event as Stephen O'Gall presided this enormous gathering. Take a look. God is good. You know the time. fellow man, it's up to you, it is your choice, that is the message of modernity. Even if you want to marry a dog, even if you want to wed with your cat, it is your choice, it is modernity. I love my life and I must live mine. That is a message of modernity. You also realize that abortion becomes the order of the day. Because people do not want to fulfill the intention as to why God created man and a woman, that man and a, a man and a woman should join together, and so the, the the offsprings come up, all the children will be born through the union of a man and a woman. Today, people want to go into sexual intercourse without getting pregnant. No wonder when you see a number of programs today in our community, the marketing of the use of condoms in our community, in our schools, the idea is let us have sex without getting pregnant. Because the intention as to why God instituted it was meant for marriage. Sex was designed for marriage. 
And so when you marry, you must be able to welcome children. Those of you who have, who have attended weddings, there is one of the special vows that couples make. And they always ask that are you willing to welcome the gift of children in your marriage? What will be the answer? That yes, I do. And now what happens here is immediately when people get married, they even don't want to have children, some of them. That's where the idea of family planning comes in. They want to control the will of God. They want to control or to choose what they want to do in their lives. And even young people today, including those who are not married, which I believe a majority of you are not, most of you have engaged in two sexual uh, relations, and in this case, you want to be in that relationship, but without bearing children. Therefore, the relation that you are in is only able to satisfy modernity and not the will of God. And in this case, it is a proof that modernity is taking us away from the real meaning of marriage. The church is looking up to you as energetic people that must help to defend the faith. And in this case, I encourage you to be very strong in your belief in God as your creator. And as you believe in God as your creator, you must also adapt mechanisms or procedures or methods that will help you to keep your relationship with your God. Because, like I told you about modernists, they are coming today in our communities and what they are promoting is an agenda. And the point that these people are promoting is that people must not believe in God. They must believe in whatever, whatever they think. And so they are looking at faith as something not important to them. No wonder when you look at, at the theory of evolution, for instance, the number of key things that we must look into before we take or we believe in it. One is that from the time this theory of evolution was published up to today, there are no gorillas or no monkeys that are about to become human beings up to today. You can't see any gorilla which is about to become a human being since the time this theory was brought. Meaning that the theory was just a wrong theory. It was an evil agenda. But also we must know that having similar features, like maybe us looking like maybe gorillas in one way or the other, does not mean that we came from, from them. But it means that we, we, it could mean that we have a common designer. And our designer is God. Look at a lizard and a crocodile. They almost look alike. But each was meant to be that. And to not change into anything. In the same case, we must appreciate that the agenda that these people are promoting is from, is from the kingdom of the devil. And all their, their theory only explains their idea, but not the truth. Scientists today, there are people who are sleeping in laboratories trying to prove how things are happening. And most of them are trying to target how to challenge what people believe in. And I also want to put clearly to your mind that the, the racism and evolution go hand in hand. The races are people who feel other people are more important than others. Other people are more developed than others. Other people are worse living than others. So racists are people who underlooked the blacks, for instance, that a black person still looks like a gorilla because they are also black, they are dark, they are just next to their gorillas, which means they are, they, are, they are still changing. And so, when you remember the apartheid policy in South Africa, where black people were mistreated, we also, when you remember the slave trade in East Africa, it was an agenda which was promoted by these people. 
because black people were looked as commodities, as things and so of less value compared to the, to the white race, which was taken to be the superior race. I encourage you today, as we conclude this conference, as you go back from this conference, you must be able to know that you are created in a special way and you are created by God and you are in the image of God. A number of, a number of socialites like Adolf Hitler, Charles Darwin and many others were the key promoters of this agenda. And today they are coming also promoting the same agenda in our midst. We must stand firm as Catholics. Even if no other person can defend the truth, remain on the truth like the Uganda Matters did. The Uganda Matters chose to remain on the truth. They, pro they, they proclaimed the truth. They defended the truth and died on the truth. Even if the message that they were preaching was not pleasing in the ears of Kabaka Mwanga, because Kabaka Mwanga had many wives. And when, they, when this, uh, uh, these people said it is a one man and one woman, that's what the church teaches, Kabaka Mwanga was hurt. Because they said for us to baptize you, you must leave others and remain with one. But even if their message was not sweet in the ears of Kabaka Mwanga, the Uganda matters remained firm. And so the blood of the matters is the, the, the seed for our faith. Let's remain as young Catholics and appreciate it even if I become a martyr. Let me be killed because of the truth. And so your God will take all the glory. Today we are proud of the Uganda matters, but we must know that the Uganda matters laid their lives for the truth. And so it's the truth that today has made them to be remembered. Let's remain firm and steady fast like Mother Mary did after receiving the message of the angel. Let's be quick to respond to this crisis of faith in our society being caused by, by the modernists. It's also important that we feel free to share our faith and our belief with other people. The Catholic Church is known of being rich with a number of things, with information and with many other, uh, with many other good things. But what is challenging is that young people are not willing to study the faith. Let's understand our faith. Let's promote our faith. Let's share our faith with other people. And so we shall be promoting our faith. As young men and women today, like Mother Mary was a youth like you are, responding to the message of the angel and went in hast. I do encourage you equally as young people to respond to the message of God speaking to your lives today. And when you're responding, respond quickly. And so appreciate your faith. Teach your faith and share your faith. Let us be motivated by the same zeal as young people and let's go all over the world in our areas of influence where we are living in. Let's be able to share our faith with the love. It is by so doing that the song when we oliye muria nyanala aturi kona oliye that song will have meaning if we appreciate our faith. But what's the key and crucial today is that young people like you are, most of you do not have time to read more about your faith. Most of you have limited love for your faith. And so you are spending time reading other things and you do not know what your faith talks about. And when these people, the modernists, 
who are the enemies of faith, when they come to speak to you, you find their message sweet. I want to encourage you, but also challenge you, when my tone is down, that the Pentecostals are getting more stronger because they are learning the faith. They are studying the Bible. But for us in the Catholic Church, we take things for granted. I'm even sure if it was Pentecostals, you would find that at least each youth would have a Bible. But among you, many of you do not have Bibles. So where is the foundation of your faith? It becomes very easy for someone to take you away from your faith if you don't understand your faith. If you refer to the questions that you are asked, could be in school, about the Catholic faith, you may not even have an answer. You may not even know what it means because you have spent no time in understanding or reading your faith. There are even a number of you who do not know any verse in the Bible by off hand. A majority of you could, be, could belong to that. You don't know any verse in the Bible. So when, for instance, a Pentecostal challenges you, you are easily taken away because you have no knowledge of the Bible. I encourage you as young people that let's have Bibles. Let's read the Bibles. But also the number of books. The Catechism of the Catholic Church is very rich. Some of you have not even seen it. You even don't know how it looks like. Get the time and read the catechism. It has a number of answers that you are always asked. I once asked a person, for instance, that why do we make the sign of the cross beginning from the head? We touch the chest and so the shoulders. A Catholic does not know. I even when we were invited to train catechists, in a patch, for instance, we asked some, some, some of those questions. We asked the catechist, why do we make the sign of the cross beginning from the head? The catechist said, that is where the head of Jesus also is. <laughs> and so it's body. Meaning that we have information in the Catholic Church, but we are taking the information for granted. We are not reading it. Do you even know what takes place in Mass? Do you know the meaning of each symbol that we make? Oh, when they ask you, say, for us in the Catholic Church, that's how we do things. It will be the first answer. For us in the Catholic Church, that's how we do things. But do you understand why we do that? It is our responsibility as young Catholics to understand our faith such that we are able to promote our faith. And if we don't, then anybody can take you. Just like uh, when people are going for Karibong, they only want to know where is the, the function. I beg you put it. Not so. To know who is marrying. They don't want to know. They only want to know where is the function. And they go there. As long as they hear the beat, they will go there. It will happen to us also in our Catholic faith. If we don't spend time to study, to read, then we can easily be swept away. As I conclude, I give you a challenge and probably ask, I would wish, I would wish to have a hundred people that will say for us, we shall remain on the truth and defend the truth that we created by God. Can I get 100 people? More than? Yes. There is time when I will call you and we shall sign some form to prove that you are willing. But also we want people who will say, for me and my household, for me and my children and my friends, we shall not promote the message of abortion. Are you there? Yes. Are you there? Yes. Are you willing to sign an agreement? But as for me and my house, I will remain serving God. Because we want to build a team today and in this conference. A team of people who will stand to defend the vulnerable children in our homes. A team of youth who will say killing a child at one second 
is the same as killing a man at 90 years. It's the same. Because you are aware that the SI unit for time is a second. You began, you began living from one second. You only grew up to what you are today. We want to build a team. And, and one time, I'm sure you are aware of all organizations that promote, for instance, abortion. You know them. There are some even in Soroti here. They are moving up and down, promoting their agenda. They are distributing contraceptives everywhere. We must stand firm. And so, if it is family planning, I will take it when I have a family. Not now. And I want to encourage you that young people, especially girls, like I've always told, boys don't take contraceptives. They give to girls to take. That you solo and then we enjoy the things. They don't take. And remember, when you begin having problems with your periods, the boy will not be having. Will he be having? When you have excess bleeding, will the boy be bleeding? In the case you fail to conceive in the future, and the same man who is telling you to take contraceptives marries you. Will he accept to stay with a barren woman? Will he accept? In the case, in the case you run for an abortion and you die, will the boy die? In the case your uterus gets damaged and you get a, a fistula, Will the boy have it? No. Therefore, as young girls, this message is for girls alone. As young girls, if a boy tells you to take a pill, tell him, Ilikojo, don't anyami borong. That you swallow, then we shall enjoy. And if he refuses to take a pill, or if a boy refuses to go for family planning, for an injector plan, or for an IUD, then next time better. <laughs> because they want you to take so that when you are in the problems, it is you to suffer. And by the way, for information, when you are bleeding because of a family planning or a contraceptive, the boy will have access to look for another one. Who is not bleeding? Because for you, you are dirty. You are no longer in the class. I inform you young girls today, be aware. And so, when you are going for it, you must be knowing that I am going for this. Otherwise, I am informed that my time is getting up or it's even done. Is that actually? So what I leave in your minds as a summary is that the Catholic Church is looking up to us as young people. Priests must come among us. Religious sisters must come among us. A Pope must come among us. Bishops must come among us. Great Cardinals must come among us. And it begins when we appreciate our faith. And so it must begin from this conference. Let us stand firm and love our faith and promote our faith. Atuli Koliai. Who can sing the song? Atuli Koliai. Aibale Muria. Atuli Koliai. Nini Paranya. Uh, he forgot to say that great people like him will also come from this conference. Hey. 
Papa, we want to thank you so much. We gave you fire that almost put you down, but you were so strong. This time around, we want to give you flowers. Please pocket them. And uh, I've seen there's that special one uh, in the hand. Take to mommy. And uh, you give her those flowers that are there from the youth. Atumna, uh, we are going to give our facilitator flowers. So we, we let, let them blossom. Yeah, send them, send them. Please receive them. We appreciate your coming. Please, whenever we call upon you, avail yourself. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Uh, what we are, I would love to make as an announcement is that we are going to run a formation program in Emma's uh, formation center. We intend to do a six months formation for young people. Uh, the fee is only 50,000 for six months. The program is taken care of. But we want people who are sacramental to come. From uh, 29th January to 10th February, we shall have a come and see in a mouse formation center Pamba there. So those of you who are interested in doing that six months full uh, packed program, you can you can come. 29th January to 10th February. But also we are moving across the diocese. In case you organize uh, a program, a youth program. We shall be able to come and you will not transport us. You will take care of our fuel, also take care of our facilitation. You don't need to pay us to, to be invited to come and speak the word of God to you. We shall come free of charge. Every part of the diocese, we shall be willing to come. Thank you.